The next generation in strategic command outposts. Unreal. I've seen plans for this in the mainframe, but I had no idea it really existed. Hello, Rangers. Welcome home. Power Rangers, a new day is upon us, and the time has come for you to accept the powers of the Zeo Crystal. These are your Zeonizers. They will allow you to morph and call upon your new Zeo powers. Value them and protect them as you did your morphers and your power coins. All right, here goes. Good luck, guys. Rangers, your courage and sacrifice have brought us the Zeo Crystal. It will bestow upon you powers beyond your imagination. Catherine, from this moment on, you will be known as Zeo Ranger 1, Pink. Tanya, you will be known as Zeo Ranger 2, Yellow. The subcrystals the rest of you retrieved have given you new colors. Rocky, you are now Zeo Ranger 3, Blue. Adam, the power of Zeo Ranger 4 Green belongs to you. Two. And finally, Tommy, you will assume the identity of Zeo Ranger 5 Red. <laughs> They're amazing, Billy. Rangers, the power of the Zeo Crystal now resides within you. How do you feel? Oh man, I feel, I feel totally energized. <laughs> Me too. You will have many new tools at your disposal. These will all be revealed in time. I am very proud of all of you. As Power Rangers, you have served your planet well. But the Power Rangers as you have known them are gone forever. In their place has emerged a new and more advanced fighting force. You have now become the Power Rangers Zeo, the next level in the fight against evil. Adopted by Sam Trueheart. I've lived in a reservation all my life. Well, I was adopted too. But my parents never said anything about a brother. They probably didn't know about me. Why didn't you just tell me? I mean, why did you make me go through a vision quest to find you? We had to make sure you were my brother. We share a great responsibility. Oh, man, I don't understand. This arrowhead contains very strong powers. Old powers. We couldn't let it fall into evil hands. This is too wild. Oh, man. Now that I know that I have a brother, I'm never gonna lose contact with you again. It's each other. Power of Triforia! Make us glow! I wanted that gold range of power. You will pay dearly for denying it to me! <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Waiting! 
When is this plan of yours gonna show itself? At the rate this is going, the Rangers and Mondo will destroy each other, and we won't even need my plan! <laughs> yes! Yeah, right. Ready, Trey? Where you go, guys? We did it together, bro. What you are now creating will possess the power to carry you safely on your quest through the Nemesis Triangle to rescue Larigo, his family, and our friends. Behold your new Turbo Zords. They're just ordinary cars. No, Tanya. They are extraordinary cars. Vehicles equipped with the power and velocity of turbo technology. Individually, they are formidable fighting machines. But when merged together, they form the Turbo Megazord, the most powerful Zord ever created. Adam, Desert Thunder will be yours to command. Catherine, yours is called Wind Chaser. Tanya, Dune Star is your Turbo Zord. And Tommy, Red Lightning will serve you well. Thanks, Sora. But well, what about Rockies? The Mountain Blaster will stay behind for now. Remember, Rangers, once inside the Nemesis Triangle, communication with the power chamber will be impossible. Before you are your new Turbo Morphers. Five keys similar to Larigo's Golden Key. Individually, they will power up your vehicles and give you access to your morphing powers. But together, and only together, will they be powerful enough to see you safely through your mission. Now, reach out, Rangers, and accept your destiny. Ready? Ready. Go. Whoa. I've never felt anything like this. Wow, this is great. All right. This is awesome. Whoa, this is incredible. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go to work. Right behind you. Wait for me. Let's do it. That was cutting it very close, Rangers. We wouldn't let you down, Demetria. We all know how important this is. It is time to proceed with the ceremony. Yo, it's all set and ready to go. Right this way, Rangers. Oh, here we go. Come on, Alpha. Right behind you, big guys. a couple of friends to drop by and join in the celebration. Oh, yo, there they are now! Sauron! Rangers, it is so good to see you again. Alpha and I are honored to participate in this historic transformation. Ay ay ay! We wouldn't miss it. We have gathered here to honor each of you for your dedicated service as a Power Ranger. Your courage and loyalty has known no bounds. However, as each Ranger reaches your stage of life, it becomes our duty to set them free to discover all that the world has to offer them. To that end, you have been asked to select an outstanding individual who will take over as your successor. We welcome them now into the Power Ranger family. I wouldn't be standing here today, TJ, if it weren't for your courage and strength. I choose you to lead the team as a new Red Ranger. You showed compassion and integrity, Ashley. I choose you with pride to be the new Yellow Ranger. Cassie, you came to my defense. I know you to be loyal and trustworthy. You will bring honor as the new Pink Ranger. You'll be the new Green Ranger, Carlos. 
proven yourself to be decisive and intelligent. What about me? What am I, chop liver? Young Justin, you will continue on as the Blue Ranger. <laughs> Where there is evil, beware. Where there is destruction, be warned. This new team of mighty warriors will know no rest. Power Rangers, the legacy continues. Uh, your first day too, isn't it? Yes, and I'm still trying to figure out why a doctor of paleontology would come all the way to Reefside to teach science to teenagers. Guess I'm looking for some peace and quiet. So you became a high school teacher. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense now, does it, Dr. Oliver? You know, I was thinking, maybe we should get together. This way, you can kind of fill me in on what you expect. I expect you to make it hard for them. Painful, if at all possible. If they smile, you know you're doing something wrong. Now, I'm off to find my first truant. We'll talk later. Dr. Oliver, how was your first day? Oh, the kids are great. No problem. Good. You're going to be seeing a lot more of them in detention. Mind telling me what I did? No, you're in charge of it today. Uh, no, actually, I have plans to go to a museum outside of town. Perfect. Bring the little monsters with you. That should be sufficient torture for them. You've all met, I trust. Well, enjoy your little outing. So, you guys like museums? That's weird. Oh, well, no museum for us. Great, let's go home. I'll tell you what, I want you guys to have a look around the grounds. If any of you guys find anything prehistoric, I'll cancel attention for the rest of the week. Sweet. I'm gonna see if I can find someone who can tell us when they're opening up. This is the same place. Are you freaking out right now? Yeah. I'd have to say I am. If you're looking for extra credit, you're in the wrong place. Kira's gone. She got taken by these weird-looking dinosaur things. He doesn't look convinced. They're called Tyrannodrones. And you know that because... I helped create them. Oh, class project? It's a long story. For now, we got to figure out what they want with Kira. I'm really sorry. How are we supposed to know those things had, like superpowers and those lizard dudes were gonna come looking for him. Well, I guess it isn't exactly something you see every day. Sort of like a science teacher with the ruins of an ancient civilization under his house. 
Like, not that this isn't all really cool, but seriously, dude, you gotta come clean. Okay, first of all, don't call me dude. Second, as hard as this may seem, you two need to forget all about this. I'll find Kara. The gym's power is already starting to bond with you. You can tell us all about it now, or at my next parent-teacher conference. So when you said you helped create those Tyranno whatevers, you were just kidding, right? They weren't supposed to be used like this. Someone's modified their programming. A few years back, I was doing research on combining dinosaur DNA with technology. My partner, a scientist named Anton Mercer. The rich guy who disappeared years ago. Yep. Shortly after Mercer disappeared, our lab was attacked. All of her research was destroyed. Or at least I thought it was. And the guy who did this is back? He calls himself Mesagog. But these mechanical dinosaurs, they're your friends? Biozords, fusion-powered replicants using actual dinosaur DNA for the neural functions. Wait, let me guess. You helped build them. I'm afraid so. But right now, we... I mean, you have to tame them. I'll be the elf. It's all the same to you. What's that mean? Be back later. Ethan, wait. You can do this, but you won't have to do it alone. Ever since I found the dino gems, I've had these waiting in case I ever needed to harness their powers. Into what? Dino morphers. Use these to become Power Rangers. I gotta sit down. Breathe, dude. We can't be Power Rangers. Aren't you supposed to fly or have superhuman strength and stuff like that? You do. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Your gems are from the asteroid that crashed into Earth millions of years ago, wiping out the entire dinosaur population. When I found them, I recognized their power and hid them so they wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. How do you know these are the right hands? The gems are yours. You didn't choose them. They chose you. <laughs> That must be them. Wow, good call, Connor. You'll have to get past me before you get those swords. That's the part I'm looking forward to. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Ready! Ready! Dino Thunder, power up! Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. 